let's say you have a mortgage with a monthly payment of $2,000. Have you ever wondered how much of that goes into paying interest and how much of that goes into paying down the principal or the loan balance? In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate those things through an example problem. So let's start with this one. Kelly takes a 30-year, $400,000 loan to buy a house at a fixed annual interest rate of 5%. Calculate the monthly mortgage payments. So there's a formula that we could use to get this answer. And here it is. The monthly mortgage payment, we'll call it MP, is equal to the principal times the annual interest rate, R, divided by N. N is the number of payments made in a year. So since we're trying to calculate the monthly payment, and there's 12 months in a year, N is going to be 12. Now all of this is going to be divided by 1 minus 1 plus R over N raised to the negative NT. So let's write down what we know. The principal balance of the loan is 400K or 400,000. The annual interest rate R is 5%, but we need to convert that to a decimal. So if you divide 5 by 100, you're going to get 0 0.05. We already said that N is 12. Now T is the number of years. So this is a 30 year loan. It's going to take 30 years to pay it off. Now let's plug in everything into this formula. So it's going to be 400,000 times R, which is 0 0.05 divided by 12. And then R over N, that's going to be 0 0.05 over 12 raised to the negative n, t, and t is 30. So let's simplify this. 400,000 times 0 0.05 divided by 12, that's 1,666.6 repeating. Now, 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 12, we get this number, 1.00416 repeating. And 12 times 30 is 360. So we're going to raise this to the negative 360. So go ahead and plug in this entire thing exactly the way you see it in your calculator. So this is the answer I got. It's 2,147.286494. But we're going to round this to the nearest cent. So we're going to round it to 29 cents. So that is the monthly mortgage payment that Kelly is going to make every month for the next 30 years. Now let's move on to part B. Let's find out how much of Kelly's first monthly payment goes to the bank through interest and how much of that goes into paying off the principal into reducing the balance of the loan. So first let's get rid of some stuff. Now, we need to use the amortizing interest formula. The monthly interest is going to be the remaining principal balance times the annual interest rate divided by N. So right now, the balance of the loan is 400000 
the interest rate is 0.05 and is 12. So this gives us $1,666.67 if you round it. So that's how much of the monthly payment is going to go to the bank through interest. To find out the amount that is going to go into the principal, we need to take the difference between these two values. Let's call this PR for principal. So it's 2147.29 minus 1666.67. So $480.62 is going to go into paying off the loan from the first payment. So this is how much is going into the principal of the loan. Now let's create an amortization schedule so we can find out how much interest is going to go in the third monthly payment. So let's make a few columns. We're going to have the date, how much of the payment goes into the principal. I need to write that better. How much is going to go to interest? And then we'll calculate the total interest. And then the remaining balance. So right now, we're in the month of September. So this is September 2022. So in this month, we have a payment of 480 and 62 cents going into the principal. The interest is $1,666.67. So that's also going to be the total interest paid. Now, to get the remaining balance, we're going to take the original balance minus the portion of the monthly payment that goes into the principal. So if we subtract those two numbers, 400,000 minus 480.62, that will give us the remaining balance after the first payment which is $399,519.38. Now let's move on to the second payment. So this is for October 2022. Now what we need to do is take the new balance and plug it into P in this equation to get the new monthly interest payment. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to replace this number with our new balance, 399,519.38. This part is not going to change. That is going to be fixed. So if you multiply the remaining balance by 0.05 divided by 12, you'll get that the new interest payment is going to be $1,664.66. So that's going to go here. Now, subtracting these two, the monthly payment, which is going to be fixed for 30 years, minus the new interest, that's going to give us the principal or the portion of the monthly payment that is going to go down into paying off the loan. So I can get rid of this at this point. So if we take 
and subtract it by this number, 1664.66, that will give us 482.63. So that is the portion of the second monthly payment that's going to go to paying off this balance. So to get the new balance, we're going to take this number and subtract it by that number. And that's going to give us 399,036 dollars and75 cents. To get the total interest, we simply need to add up these two numbers and put that result here. So 1666.67 plus 1664.66. That will give us a total interest of $3,331.33. So after the first two months, this money, all of that is going to the bank as pure interest. Now let's move on to the third month. So we're going to take the remaining balance and plug it into this formula. to get the new interest payment. So if we take that number, 399.36.75, and multiply it by 0 0.05 divided by 12, we get an interest of $1,662.65. So let's go ahead and put that here. So to answer part B, how much of Kelly's first monthly payment is paid to the bank through interest? So that is $1,666.67. So out of the $2147, this is the amount that goes to the bank in the first payment. For part C, how much is paid to the bank through interest for her third monthly payment? So out of this amount, it's this value here. So those are the answers for part, parts B and C. To get the total interest, we could take the sum of these three numbers or simply add this number and that number. So 3331.33 plus 1662.65. That gives us a total interest paid of $4,993.98. Now to get the principal, or rather, the portion of the monthly payment that's going to go to the principal, we need to take the difference of those two numbers. So 2147.29 minus 1662.65, that's going to be $484.64. So over time, notice what's happening. The portion of your monthly payment that goes to interest, that's decreasing. And the portion of your monthly payment that goes down to paying off the loan, that's slowly increasing. And it's going to continue to increase until the entire loan is paid off. Now let's get the final balance after the third monthly payment. So let's take the balance after the second monthly payment and subtract it by the portion of the payment that goes into paid off the loan. So 399.036.75 minus 484.64. That's $398,552.11. So that's going to be the balance after the third payment. And of course, you could continue the process, but this is how you can create uh, the amortization schedule by hand if you wish to do so. But now you can pull this through an online calculator, or you can even do it 
on Excel. I have a video that explains how you can create an amortization schedule on Excel. So if you type in amortization organic chemistry tutor in a YouTube search box, it's going to show up. So if you type in amortization Excel organic chemistry tutor, it'll show up faster in the search results. So here we have an online loan calculator by bankrate.com. Now we're going to check our math. So let's put in the loan in our example, which is we had a loan balance of 400000 and it was a 30-year loan, which is equivalent to 360 months. 30 times 12 is 360, and the annual interest rate was 5%. And this is the answer that we calculated. That was the monthly payment, $2,147.29. Now, keep in mind, this is a rounded answer because it was actually 0.286 and some other numbers after that. Now, if you look at this little link right here, I'm going to click it where it says show amortization schedule. And if you scroll down, you can see this is what we had. Now, if you look at the end of the third month, the balance is slightly different. My answer differed from this answer by a penny. I had $398,552.11 versus 12 cents. And the reason for that is, or at least one reason, could be the fact that I was using a rounded answer. The monthly payment was $2,147.29, but the exact value was 0.286 something. So that rounded difference could explain why I'm off by a penny. But for the most part, most of this is pretty much the same as uh, what we had earlier in the video. So now you know how to create an amortization schedule by hand, and you also know how to calculate the portion of the interest or the portion of the monthly payment that goes into that goes to the bank through interest, and that goes into paying off the loan, which is represented by the principal here.